Hey everybody, welcome to Wine Exposed. My name is Larry and I'll be your host. Today we're looking at this wine called Apothic Red. I've seen this one around in a number of stores, looks pretty popular. Usually uh, in your grocery store you'll be able to find this one. This is a red blend, comes from California. This is a uh, general California appellation, meaning they can source the grapes from anywhere in California. 2008 vintage, this is a blend of Syrah, Zinfandel, and Merlot. A little bit geeky, a lot of people don't care to know what's in the bottle, but hey, if you go out to a restaurant and somebody comes over to you and says, would you like chicken? Pretty much want to know how it's prepared, right? You want to know what's in it. You want to know if it's like chicken piccata, chicken marsala, chicken parmesan. You want to know how it's made. So this wine, definitely want to know what's in it. Could just say, hey, it's red wine. And it is called Apothic Red, but you want to know what's in it. So it's a blend of Syrah, Zin, and Merlot. Comes from anywhere in California. The reason that's important Maybe it's going to come from Diamond Mountain District. Maybe it's going to come just from Napa. Uh, maybe it's going to come from Sonoma. Who knows? But point is, the more specific an appellation that the wine comes from, that the grapes are sourced from, and there's different rules that apply to that when labeling the bottle, but the more specific you get, the better the wine is, or uh, the more unique the wine is. Uh, there are certain things you can tell about a wine based on where it comes from. Anyway, this wine I picked up for $9.99. Like I said, I've seen it around in the stores. Thought it would be interesting. Let's check it out. Right off the bat, this kind of smells a little sweet. So it kind of reminds me of uh, like a kosher wine, like a, like a Manischewitz or something. <laughs> little sweet on the palate as, way, uh, as well. This is um, going to be a widely appealing wine. You know, I mean, you know, the, statistically, a lot, a lot more people, uh, they kind of talk dry, but they drink sweet. A lot of people appreciate sweeter style wines, uh, you know, when I'm out in the market, a lot of people ask me if I have anything sweet, if I'm tasting stuff, so this is um, not necessarily a sweet or dessert wine, but it is definitely wine that has some residual sugar. Uh, it's very fruity, um, it's got nice mouthfeel, nice texture, um, nice widely appealing wine, and certainly for $9.99, and being as widely available as it is in, in your grocery markets, you're going to be able to find this wine, and I think it's going to appeal to a lot of people. Anyway, you can check out the full review of this wine uh, right underneath the video here on Wine Exposed. You can go ahead and add a comment uh, if you'd like. If you've had an experience with this wine, let us know what you think. Uh, I think in the future we're going to have some kind of rating system below the wine, so maybe when you're watching this, it'll already be in place. So if it's there, go ahead and uh, rate the wine for yourself and let uh, the audience know what you think of this one or in your experience that you've had with the 2008 Apothic Red. i got to tell you, I think the uh, label is real attractive. I think it's a good package for this wine. So uh, I think uh, the Apothic Wines, Apothic Wine Company, uh, which is a, a Gallo brand, I think they did a really nice job with this wine. Um, I've got a question that goes out to the audience. They want to do a kind of a question of the day, so I hope you'll comment on this as well. I want to talk about wine preservation systems. Anyone seen this? This is a vacuum pump. And these are vacuum stoppers. Now when vacuum first came out, this was the stopper that they came out with. Basically what you do is you kind of put this on the bottle and you use the pump to pump the air out and that way the wine doesn't oxidize. Very good for the wine. Just kind of helps the wine retain its flavor the way the winemaker intended for as long as it possibly can. Rule of thumb is about three days. This is the stopper that they went to and this is the only one you can find and anybody I ever see out in the market that has either one of these everybody agrees that this one's better. It's probably a uh, corporate decision that saved them, you know, 0 0.0125 cents uh, per stopper that's out there, but uh, just because they make a little bit more profit, they went to this model. Who knows? I don't know. So I put it out to you. If you're watching Vacuvin people, why did you switch from this stopper to this stopper? And also anybody else who's watching, if you've had experience with either of these two stoppers with the Vacuvin wine preservation system, which do you prefer? The uh, flat or the what I'll call the nib, this little nib on top. Anyway, let me know what you think. Uh, check us out on Wine Exposed. We'll see you next time. See ya.